So before Queen B, aka Beyonce, there was Queen A, aka Aaliyah. And one thing that they had in common was that Jay-Z had his eyes on the both of them. But to what extent though? What's the real truth behind Jay-Z's scary obsession with Aaliyah? I think everybody that knows Sean Carter knows that he will slump anyone in any relationship for a dollar. Look at how he did Dane. Like, I don't give a if you wanted to get away from your homie, if you wanted to get away from your partner, but to do it the way he did it, it's malicious. But maybe that was because he was a girl that didn't want you. The tea spilling that Jaguar Wright has been doing as of late is just on another level, y'all. And I am here for all of it. So let's get right into it. Okay, Aaliyah tragically died in a plane crash on August 25th, 2001 at the age of 22. And even I have to admit that the circumstances of her death were a bit sus. And I'm not the only one who thinks so. Around the 2000s, Aaliyah was becoming super famous and had just starred in her first movie, Romeo must die. And according to someone who attended a party that Jay-Z hosted back in the day, after Jay-Z had just had a big hit with Big Pimpin', Jay-Z did not show up with a girl, and it's because he had his eyes on Aaliyah. And best believe, he was all over her. The source actually told Daily Mail, I saw that Jay-Z was trying to get close to Aaliyah, but I didn't think too much of it at the time. I probably thought they were just friends or making music together. Now that Damon has said what he said, it all makes sense. Jay-Z was all over Aaliyah. They were hugging each other and you could totally see that there was chemistry between them. I knew that Damon was going out with her, so I did think it was a little weird. Oh, and when the source said he understood how Damon's interview made sense, they were talking about how Damon exposed Jay-Z for having a thing for his girl. He told Page Six he tried very hard. I did not mean to fall in love with Aaliyah. She was just that cool. But you know, we were both going hard. Everybody was trying to get to Aaliyah. It was not just Jay. According to Dash, he didn't even know Jay-Z had feelings for Aaliyah before he started dating her, and he added i did not know jay was trying to holler at her but then it just happened like that he was trying i was trying everybody was trying he was going hard well all i know is that after dash and Aaliyah started seeing each other he and jay-z had a falling out and jaguar wright certainly believed that jay-z was bitter that Aaliyah chose dash and not him i think everybody that knows sean carter knows that he will slump anyone in any relationship for a dollar Look at how he did Dane. Like, I don't give a if you wanted to get away from your homie, if you wanted to get away from your partner, but to do it the way he did it, it's malicious. But maybe that was because he was a girl that didn't want you. And it's not just Jay-Z that Jaguar hung out to dry. Jay-Z. And he was working with R. Kelly and they were making so many records together. You know, they made all of those records together. They both the Leah. They shared so much in common. Obviously, not shocked about the R. Kelly part, cause allegations already exist that R. Kelly roped Aaliyah into a very controversial and highly inappropriate relationship before forging documents to marry her when she was literally still underage. People went digging and discovered that she was just a teen when R. Kelly began a relationship with her and that he believed she may be pregnant. So he forged documents and forced the ceremony to ensure that as his wife, she would not be forced to testify against him in the court of law. Actually, Jay-Z's relationship with R. Kelly was also part of the reason why he had a falling out with Dash. When the docuseries Surviving R. Kelly was released, Dash said Jay-Z's decision to collaborate with R. Kelly on 2002's The Best of Both Worlds album, despite knowing that Dash had issues with R. Kelly, really shocked him and he wanted none of it. I know I'm not with that. And because of the moral challenge and him choosing one way, I knew morally we weren't the same. Word. So to me, Rockefeller was <clears> defunct, <throat> it was over. Word. I couldn't f with it. It was something that to me was just like, not to say unforgivable, but un I couldn't understand it. Jaguar also noted that the beef between Jay-Z and Dash escalated around the time Aaliyah died and Beyonce's solo career was struggling. They were having a hard time taking her solo. And then Aaliyah died. 
Speaking of Queen B, there has also always been the conspiracy theory that Jay-Z participated in Aaliyah's death so that Beyonce could replace her. Allegedly, since he couldn't get Aaliyah for himself, he became obsessed with trying to eliminate her so that Queen B could take the throne as the queen of R&B. And I'm not big on conspiracy theories, but even I have to admit that it kind of makes sense. Okay, the first thing I'm going to break down for you is their names. Aaliyah means highest, most exalted one, and Beyonce means one who is beyond others. Already, there's a problem there because these were the two women who wanted to be the best, but back in the day, there was only enough room for one, meaning one had to go. Also, for those who even remember, Aaliyah always acted weird whenever Beyonce was near her, and she always looked funny when her name was brought up in conversations during interviews. And get this, Aaliyah did an interview in Paris just weeks before she died, and this is what she said. One day, I will travel to Egypt. I will be there where Cleopatra and the pharaohs live. Unfortunately, I can't meet them anymore. If I had a time machine, I would visit the ancient Egypt. Who knows, perhaps Cleopatra and me would become very good friends. At least I would have a live experience of that ancient culture, which I only know from books. In the same interview in Paris, she mentioned a different type of dream. Here's what she said. It's dark in my favorite dream. Someone is after me, don't know why, I got fear. Then suddenly I lift off, I fly away, far away. How do I feel now? It is like swimming in the air, free and without any weight. No one can reach me, no one can touch me. It's a wonderful feeling. According to sources, the sudden lift off that she was talking about was a representation of death, but she was still unaware. Then weeks later, Aaliyah's plane crashes in the Bahamas and she's gone. Then right after Aaliyah's death, Jay-Z came out with a remix of Aaliyah's song, I Miss You. And in the song, he said, you used to read Seat of the Soul. Now, some of you may know that Seat of the Soul is a book about opening your third eye. And once your third eye is opened, your intuition is at its highest peak. Maybe that's why Aaliyah was talking so much about her dreams weeks before she passed on. It's possible that her third eye was opened and she was being warned of something, but she didn't have enough time to put the pieces together correctly. Even Mary J. Blige once said that she believed there was a lot of foul play in Aaliyah's death and said that she knew she was next. In her words, it was just that when I saw her, that's when I discovered the fact that I'm next. I don't know how or when, but I'm next. I don't know what kind of freak accident they're gonna put me in or what kind of overdose they're going to sort out, but at the end of the day, I knew I was next. I just thought, I'm scared. Well, more than a decade on, Mary J is still alive and kicking, so I really don't know what's going on there. However, it's very possible that Jay-Z was truly obsessed with Aaliyah when she was alive, but got jealous when she chose Dash and possibly participated in eliminating her so that Beyonce could rise. Um, that could also be just a conspiracy theory, but I am dying to know your thoughts. Do you think Aaliyah just died naturally? Or do you think Jay-Z was involved? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you like this video, make sure to check out the next one.